When I was a kid, my idea of beauty was, was being light-skinned. I just wish I could, you know, go back in time and tell my younger self. You know, just don't even think about this. I grew up in Senegal. So I was bullied a lot by my classmates because of my skin color. Even to a point that I stopped going to school. I was so ashamed of it that I would spend hours in the shower crying and trying to wash my skin off. My mom left my country when I was three years old and I was raised by her sister. When I was around 15, I had to move to Paris. I had to go and live with her and keep her company. She would always tell me not to change my skin color, that it is beautiful and unique, that I had to love it, and that was the difference. I started modeling in Paris, but I was kind of um, scared. I was young and I didn't really know what I was getting into. And I moved here to New York to live with my family, my mom, um, my sisters and brother. So yeah, I worked with a couple of photographers and that's where it started. The co-founder and founder of Color Girls contacted me via Instagram. And the, the pictures kind of went viral from there, and that's where I really started. Oh, um, best girl said, hello, sweetie, I'm a big fan of you. You're a role model to all ladies. Beauty inside the soul, not the out. Being young and black means everything to me. Um, for me, it means freedom, because I can be myself and do what I love and inspire a lot of young generations. And I feel like I'm helping a lot of dark-skinned girls feel better about themselves. I think beauty is just being able to be yourself and just celebrate yourself without having to worry about what other people are gonna think about you. child should grow up with low self-confidence but that's what was happening to a little girl from South LA all because she was bullied about the color of her skin CBS 2's Joy Benedict shows us how a twist of fate and some photos helped turn her frown upside down this 10 year old has plenty of confidence today I know I'm pretty I'm not gonna let anyone tell me different but that wasn't the case a few months ago. I just didn't feel like I was that pretty, and I thought it was really ugly after people were telling me that I was ugly. Karis Rogers is talking about her skin tone. I feel like they were bullying me because of my skin color, because I was darker. She remembers a moment in first grade that still hurts. My teacher, we were supposed to draw ourselves, and she gave me a black crayon instead of a brown crayon, and I came home crying. I didn't know what to do. Her mom did and switched her to a more diverse school, but still the comments continued. A couple girls that were bullying me because I was too dark, but they were coming from black girls too. So I was really confused. Her big sister was not. There is an issue of colorism, I think, in every race. So their mom enrolled Karis in a Saturday program at Amazing Grace Conservatory, where they held this fashion show a few weeks ago. Big sis, Taylor Pollard, couldn't help but post a couple photos on Twitter, writing, my sister is only 10, but already royalty, adding the hashtag flexin' in her complexion. She's a chocolate girl, and she was dressed nice and cute, had her hair, her natural hair showing, and, you know, I just wanted to put out there that she's flexing in her complexion. It resonated with thousands of people on social media, liked 80,000 times. The compliments poured in. In social media, it seems like people are more willing to give her compliments. Reaching an audience she wouldn't ordinarily meet. And, like, after I read all those comments, I was like, wow. Am I really that pretty? Yes, Karis, you are, on the outside and in. And as for those bullies, she now knows what to say. Everybody is pretty in their own way. A lesson for other girls, young and old, regardless of their complexion. Always believe in yourself. Don't let nobody tell you different. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News. Oh, Karis, you are so, so beautiful.